Mip City as of late has pretty much descended to a territory where it's full of young kids want to be adults or people that are driven by their own inner desire. The Coomers. It's a game where it's colorful and cheery, but clouded by the dark and the remnants of its old glory past. When you open Roblox Bet in 2016 on your mom's laptop, you see Mip City. It's a game where you can meet other players and socialize, have a cool party, and some other stuff. The game was at its prime, but now it's a wasteland cover it with a bright color. Everyone that you meet in the game is not the same as you remember. Everyone here is mean. Everyone dresses up like a tall unhinged monster from Cry of Fear and Chainsaw Man. <laughs> Overall though, everyone here dresses up as if it were Halloween. Like not even a single person that you see on Mip City wears normal 1.0 and default sizes. And the fun thing about these people that wear those are poor themselves. You can click on their avatar and their actual avatar is exposed. The game itself is kind of abandoned. There were some of the missing soundtracks and something that were missing. Yes! Hell yeah! And a bug. But other than that, let's talk about something before Mip City became existence and how we ended up right here. Mip City released in February 2016, the year where Robux was getting good. You know, Pokemon and McDonald's Tycoon. Mip City was pretty simple back then. The game itself feels like not every other role-playing game. It had some of the promising features and some of the cool aspects of it. It almost felt like it's a spiritual successor of Club Penguin and Toontown. But before we dive into the game, let's talk about the creator who created the game. Alex Neutron, also known as the most negligent developer on earth. Well, not before when Alex used to be like that. Back then, you probably heard the game called Ultimate Survive and Erupting Volcano. In all fairness, I never played that game, nor was I around 2009. Assuming the gameplay is pretty much turned into a spiritual successor for natural survival disaster. And then Wheels of Fortune, which is a TV-based show game where children type swear words during Robux livestream incident. And then Robux Dodgeball. I usually see those games on the front page most of the time, but I never did did get a chance to play it, so moving on. The Mip City, Stop. actually not Mip City yet, but in 2012, a game was called Social Meeps before it was called Mip City. The game is pretty much a social hangout, which is definitely inspired by Club Penguin. And the trail you see here, you're basically a round ball with a face, which are called Meeps, which you can see later in the future. I never played Social Meeps in my life or ever heard of Social Meeps. Most of my time was spent on Flash games and never heard of it until 2018, where Koneko Kitten mentions it. And the music in the trailer uses Minecraft Student Remix. Back when Steam Greenlight was a thing, Alex tries to upload Mip City into Steam. However, uh, my guess is that it never got greenlighted. After 3 years to this long run, the game was finally shut down, which leads to the point of Mip City in Roblox. After half months ever since the shutdown, April 21st, 2016, Alex announced the upcoming game that he worked on. He even hired a builder known as Holiday Pounder, leaking some of the buildings and the project that he worked on. Finally teasing with the last image, Mip City was open for testing and finally opened better for Version. The reception was pretty positive. Everyone really liked the game, finding the bugs, adding more extra updates. It was all good year for Alex Neutron and it sparked popularity and this when jailbreak wasn't a thing. So what was the game back then? Well, it's simple. There's some notable places that you can visit such as pet shops, schools, coffee shops, ice cream shops, and pizza shops. Remember the pizza mini game? God, I missed it. You can also visit neighborhood and customize your home. You can buy furniture or you can have your own pet called Puffalo. I mean me. We don't talk about their similar design. Although in social meep or meep city, your character is pretty much a round ball in the website. But in Roblox, you don't become a meep anymore. Instead, you are using your own Roblox avatar. Instead of being a piece of ball, you get to adopt one of these critters to have around you at any time. There's not really much to do besides role playing and oh boy, the server is always jam-packed with a ton of people in the game. You barely saw anyone wearing ugly copy and paste outfit and people were right, it is not an urban legend. Back then, CNP did not really exist. And oh boy, people are gonna flood in the comment section all over again. And pretty much, Mip City was at its prime, thriving as there are more players interested in the game direction. This was a game that was never felt anything like it. Whenever you play a roleplay game, you always get this terrible asset flip where you have a stroller and a copy-paste mansion. None of that feels like that in Mip City, although Roblox High School, god, I missed it. God bless Cindering for making my childhood happier. But besides that, it was quite revolutionary. So as Mip City 
became popular over time, it hit 1 million visits, 4 million visits, 10 million. Hell, even then TDM is playing Mip City. This is the bread that you asked me to get. Now, go make me a sandwich. Mip City Starball and more free codes, design overhaul, and it hit 30 million visits. They also added gardening in which you can grow your own plants and sell it to make profit. Although, why would you ever want to keep it when you can make profit? Look, lady, whatever you're selling, I ain't buying, yo. Well, my name is Skylar White, yo. My husband is Walter White, yo. Uh-huh. He told me everything. Seriously? That's right. You can finally have night time, in which back then it didn't. And finally, release Mip City official soundtrack. Yo, yo, yo! Ah! But then, something bad happened. Something that everybody knows about the incident. Something that what has become Mip City today. And what I'm talking about is they removed the f pizza mini game. Yeah, you know, the pizza mini game where the chef does the Snoop Dogg thing whenever you complete an order where you can make your own pizza and complete the task? Yeah, it's gone. Nobody knows when the mini game was removed. The confusion was everywhere and I was devastated the moment when the pizza mini game was unavailable. It was truly the dark age for Mip City. Wait, 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 hold on. I, I don't think you guys actually thought about this, right? Well. Don't worry. In September 28, 2016, Alex Neutron has created something that changed Mip City forever. Something that can never be reverted. Once you open that Pandora box, there's no way you can seal it again. Once you open the demon core with a screwdriver, there is no chance of you surviving it. And I'm talking about Mip City parties. <laughs> Well, it wasn't really that bad back then. It was still innocent and it wasn't that much of a big deal. But neglect comes with a price and it was only just the beginning. Well, congrats on the 50 million visits and many many more that I won't mention again. But as things went swimmingly on Alex Neutron's favor, things took a sharp turn. On January 25th, 2017, Alex added Morph into the game where you can transform to a baby or a kid. Some players don't really like the idea for the game. Do keep in mind that Mip City is a pretty much a roleplay game. Well, double standards. A month later in February 20th, 23rd, 2017, a statement from Alex Neutron talking about inappropriate things that happen on Mip City parties, which pretty much talking about bullies or offenders because you know 2017 where it's uh, I don't wish to talk about it anymore. But not only that, the rise of online daters and pet While Mip City is here to stay, there are three things that Alex Neutron promises which we can only hope for in the future. Alex has disabled the party name feature in which online daters uses it to signal other players about the inappropriate party such as find a human or find hobby and have fun. Yeah, when you think about it, it does sound inappropriate. But that did not mitigate the whole situation as people tried to link with a woman on the bed. Alex decided to make the bed invisible, in which the bed pretty much becomes a phantom. However, human nature is deranged and people will do it on the floor instead. But that also did not stop online daters from using dance move inappropriately. Therefore, Alex decided to remove some of it and replace some of the animations. But it all seems futile as online daters did not diminish from the game once Whatsoever. But afterwards, after many stagnant effort on combating these online daters, on June 15, 2017, Alex announced that he officially became an intern for Roblox, which is an important point for later on. July 26, 2017, Green Lego Cast posted his video on Mip City, which he exposed the game and pretty much slandered Alex Neutron reputations. Although there was definitive proof in the video, but things about to take a lot worse from now on. Despite the warning that has been heeded by the community, Alex Neutron might or might might not have turned blindside from the community and focusing on a new kart racing update. After that, Alex added a new feature where you can kick any offenders from the party. In practice, this might be a good idea for people who harass people who are simply just enjoying things. But what about the online daters and e daters? Of course, they can make you disappear. But what if you were to serve and show them the proof to Alex that they're doing inappropriate behavior on his game? Wouldn't it work because you got the evidence? On August 12, 2017, Alex stated that he received multiple reports of cases that players have screenshotted and you want to know how he responded to them? A lot of you are sending me screenshots of people breaking rules. That's great and all, but I can't ban people. So just report them. Objection! You're telling me an intern who works at Roblox can't do anything about it. 
So you resort to people reporting an inappropriate player. Some people are calling out that Roblox moderation does work, and some people say that Roblox moderation does not work. Well, you might be real with your chief. Reporting does work, but not in the way that it seems how it is. There is one video on Ruben Sim talking about the report. The video is basically a channel called XX Gamer Crew XX. In this video, there's a perpetrator asking for personal info about the kid. The kid is in fact a 13 years old, talking about the appearance in exchange for something. The kid has reported the perpetrator with the reporting system. However, the perpetrator was not banned from the platform despite asking for personal information. Until Ruben Sim finally shed a light and the user got banned 7 years later. Considering that this was around 2015, you can imagine how bad the reporting system back in the days. And do keep in mind that this Mip City incident takes place 2 years prior during the kid being asked for personal information. Although the reporting system may not be entirely terrible and some do get banned off on the platform, then what about the in-game content where the Roblox moderation cannot take action? Let's just say the game introduces you to a sign <laughs> and you can read whatever you want with it. What if someone reads something inappropriate like slurs, tempt and swears, maybe something that is related to OD? Now what if you report this person as bullying or harassment or dating? What would it be reported? Is it the sign that the perpetrator is holding or the text messages? That is correct. But why is that? It's because the moderation does not integrate to everything. The moderation only looks if they're an exploiter or people saying that isn't PG-13 on the message. And you can say that this is pretty much a bypass because it is. It's under the radar within Robux moderation. And I've seen some cases for the memes used as a swear word for their name to something inappropriate. No matter how hard you report these people when they're completely silent, they will be complete impenetrable because those are something out of reach from the moderation, as I would like to say, third party. It's like you're reporting them for dressing like a hookers, but in reality, their profile looked like a bacon. It's just the in-game feature that they were allowed to be like this. By the time you report them, the one you're sending is this instead of this. Take that! Now you understand why moderation partially worked. Even Alex Neutral knew about this but was still unable to mitigate or completely remove the online getters. Reason to Die Awakening is a game that I pissed on a lot. I've made a review on that game and some people might not like it and some people kinda agree with it. But deep down in my heart, I used to love that game. I'm not gonna explain the entire detail of Reason to Die. It's basically a hardcore zombie survival game where skill matters and that's all I'm gonna explain to you. But what am I talking about this game? This game has a reporting feature. No, I'm not talking about Roblox report feature. I'm talking about in-game report feature. This game might have a staggering amount of exploiters. But if you ever see one, you can hover to this button and call the mod to ban them on. Side. This is an actual feature back in 2017 and it proven to be work and useful. However, Reason to Die is not as popular as you think back then. So pretty much this feature is under the rubble but ever since then, most of the game do have mod call features. But in the past, it wasn't as much back then. If only someone could've told Axe Neutron to hire a moderation team and use the feature like Reason to Die mod call, maybe things would've been different. But so far, all the methods are a blunder and make it seem hopeless. There were people that have given good methods like hiring a moderation team or you know, ban scripts. But despite all that, Alex Neutron still continue being apprehensive when in reality, the solution was there. It's just that someone has to reach Alex Neutron in person and bonk his head with a baseball bat. Nothing happened until January 2018. Oh, and also, Grand Lego Cast released a diss track. The game has made Roblox worse. Let's kill them loaded in a hearse. All of the odor exterminators, destroyers of the rule violators. The whole game is a violation. Banger, I guess. And then somewhere around June or July 2017, Cow Cow Man Thing It, I mean, Cow Cow Man Man Thing It, got banned from Roblox. I don't exactly know how he got banned off, but according to his video, he explained exploited with typical modders, but the exploit was not done by real Lego cats, but was done by typical modders. And so the speculation
accusation against Alex Neutron arose, believing that Alex Neutron had tipped off Roblox to ban his account after a long constant feud about Mip City. Remember about Alex Neutron hired as an intern from Roblox? The suspicions were heavily stacked against Alex Neutron and there was evidence proving more facts that Alex Neutron was indeed the person behind the slaughter by stalking him on YouTube which further proved his guilt. And Green Lego Cats believed that he'd not exploited, he then later explained that he had a different all account to play when exploiting with typical modders. But it took two months for his account to get banned. However, typical modders were not banned despite the exploits that were shown in broad daylight. Assuming the timing was weird, Green Lego Cats decided to think that Alex just saw the videos and then decided to get him banned because of the evidence and the reason why it's exploiting was weird. But upon confrontation, Green Lego Cats manages to snatch deleted tweets that says Alex says that he got banned for exploiting and harassment. Upon showing the rules to Alex, Alex points out the last one which is why the reason Green Lego Cats got banned. And one of the worst offenses and worst crimes against humanity, Alex says that harassment is worse than online dating and then saying that he did not in fact ban him. Wow, um, I'm not sure. What do you mean by harassment is worse than online dating? But it was weird how Green Lego Cats got banned considering there were multiple discrepancies and a story that doesn't really add up which really heavily implies that Alex Neutron indeed is a person behind his account termination. Now I don't want to be the guy that says something final but it's really up to you whether you believe Alex or Green Lego Cats. At the end of the day, I'm just covering this topic because you know, for fun. So after the feud, that's pretty much all the debacle that has happened in that year. In 2018, Alex Neutron went back to his schedule to continue updating the game and finally disappearing on February 15, 2019. And Mip City went under the radar for a long, long time until eventually. <laughs> Tubers93, as you may all know him as a hacker that despises Mip City. He's pretty infamous, everyone pretty much knows him. I don't really have to go into detail, but on October 2nd, 2019, Mip City was hacked by Tubers93. What it basically does is that when you join the game and play for a brief moment, it will teleport you to Mip City 2, which is a game basically pressing a lot for the sinners in the game. But not only that, the game itself is pretty offensive and stereotypical towards Muslim religion. When you prompt the praise tool, text will appear above you and shortly after after he explodes, which is a direct reference towards offensive. I am the danger. A guy opens his door. Mashallah, Muhammad is shabba. Tabarak Allah. Hi, Zimbar. For the guy, for sure. Majority of the players don't really like Mip City and the hacking was pretty much praised among the community. And shortly, the game was finally content deleted and Mip City is finally back to normal, for now. After the coverage video from Koneko Kitten, 6 days later, an audio was uploaded called Koneko Praise Allah, which the audio is just Koneko saying, Praise Allah! It's funny though, I guess the hackers themselves got a good sense of humor. But silence. And silence. Meow. What's that? It's a cat noise. No, it must be Koneko Kitten. On January 31st, 2020, Koneko Kitten made a video about the rise of Mip City, in which case he disproved the claim on Green Lego Cats having a game being a breeding place for online daters. Koneko stated that people who were dating are just kids pretending to be online daters, just to get into YouTube videos or trolling pretending to date people. Koneko then says that there's an image that has Albert's stuff plastered all over the room, indicating that they're just a fan of Albert's stuff and hinting that they were joking, and then proving that Alex Neutron is innocent and saying that people were heavily expecting him to be able to control everything when in reality that he cannot. Then Koneko said something that might be controversial, saying that developers cannot do Roblox moderation job, saying that even if Alex wanted to get rid of him, he cannot. However, there are contradictions back in 2018, but he did in fact ban someone from his game for spamming, but not online dating, which begs even more question on his morality stance towards online daters, which could've been a fad. There's an image stating that he does not have an admin script. How does a game that garnered billions of visits does not have a moderation. What kind of incompetence developer would add moderation? Considering social meet or Mip City, Alex Neutron should at least have some moderation knowledge since he's the only one that hosted the game for the website and provided safety for the community for 3 years. Where isn't it? What has Alex Neutron been doing ever since he started social meets? Which even begs more questions. Now, looking back at Koneko videos, saying that Alex is pretty much become a punching bag and calling people that hated Alex Neutron have a 
mob mentality that showed all the slander and accusation and everything what he did was not sufficient to appease the opposing community. Telling people that there are other games like Adopt Me or Welcome to Bloxburg also have online niggers, when in reality, it isn't the only thing that is on Mip City. After the video was released, the video garnered a ton of support and many of the comments flowed onto Green Lego Cats exposing Mip City saying that Alex is unable to moderate and saying something that he tried his best. But we all know that isn't true. Get ready for the next battle. Tubers 93 has finally returned for a second round, and this time he's armed to the teeth. While Alex Neutron pretty much does nothing besides poking his up on his. When you join Mip City, you'll be automatically teleported to Mip City 3, unlike the previous entry which takes a few minutes before someone gets captured like if it were a rapture. The game pretty much reuses the same map and makes the world darker, having an Alex Neutron avatar with his left foot hanging on top of the pole. You can hit him with a baseball bat for Alex's incompetence at moderating Mip City, or he can become a homeless person and if you try to enter through the portal, a message will appear saying the players cannot escape the wrath of Tubers 93, and if you attempt to flee from from the rapture, the game will teleport you back, stuck in an endless darkness. Then February 9, 2022. It did happen again, but this time with some added stuff that Tubers93 added. It isn't any different from the last previous hack, which is disappointing. In February 2022, Crickcraft hosted Jenna's raid livestream. He entered Meep City, and upon stumbling on Meep City party, he saw something that will forever change Roblox. He entered it and was in complete disbelief. The power of Roblox compels you! Other shot through his veins. Hey, no, Ro Roblox! Hey, Roblox! That person's name is Itchy Butt. Their name is Itchy Butt! Can I? Oh. No! No! Even mentioning that he thought that people were hating on Mip City was a running joke. I always kind of thought that people were joking when they said that this was a problem. But, um... No, that's that's a problem. That's 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 definitely a problem. And the problem has brought attention to many thousand innocent children that were seeing the actions live. Even with Crickcraft himself had to make a video about it, and the Roblox alarm went loud. Everything went out of control. Roblox immediately shut down the game from accessing. Not even an hour later, the game finally came back on. But this time, there was no party. The Pandora box is gone. The remnants have scattered. After the shutdown the party in Mip City, people in the community are overjoyed celebrating the end of an era of Mip City party. However, those kids that participate in one of those parties are left with nothing, coping as they cannot access their favorite <laughs> dungeon anymore. So, what's next? Well, first of all, the damage has already been done. It was far too late, and if you ever see those TikTok cringe compilation and those terrible t-shirt bypass, well, you can thank Alex Neutron for indirectly enabling this kind of behavior. After researching tons of hours and effort into this video, I can safely say that Alex Neutron is the biggest scum of all. He has no rules, no boundaries. First of all, he never gets punished after this, despite unknowingly and indirectly enabling this kind of adult rings that happened in Mip City Party, even with the mounds of mounds of evidence. I'm surprised that Alex Neutron never took an extreme measure to keep the safety of his players. He's also extremely inconsiderate for his player base, literally saying, isn't it better that disgusting people are in the parties and not in the rest of the game? Like what in the actual f are you trying to say here? This is your game. You get a responsibility to provide players safety. Saying that that you are unable to moderate your game is asinine and cretinous. It's like a restaurant owner not caring about food safety and serving food with spoiled ingredients because checking your ingredients isn't your problem, so you left it raw in the fridge. How do you think that's gonna fly? It would've been shut down immediately. This is disgusting! I'm closing it down! It's like he's given up and let nature run its course until it finally bites back at him. There's also new controversy surrounding Alex Neutron fetishes on the fat blue Yoshi. I mean, there is nothing inherently wrong about liking a fetish because there will be kink shaming. Green Lego Kids made a video about it and kinda directly link him that he's desensitized from adult materials, which I find it hard to believe. And then later, there's a proof that Alex is talking to a minor, talking yif. 
No, you think. No. Bad. He also follows an NSFW40 account and also has another account named ZillyLB. You can actually watch Green Lego Cat's video about it. If I have to explain it myself, this video will have been actually one hour and I would have been extremely burned out. Let's not ignore the fact that majority of the younger generation has been corrupted due to indecency exposure in Nip City parties. I can tell that some of them have been traumatized by the events and some are just too far gone in their heads and require effective therapy. I'm also quite surprised that no one has yet sued Alex Neutron for the damage to their parents' kids for not moderating this stuff. I mean, Roblox always gets sued, but Roblox isn't the one behind it. Although it could be put up due to incompetence at moderating, but the prime suspect is still Alex Neutron, and Roblox really hasn't done anything about it until Crickcraft decided to expose it to the public. So. That's two birds with one stone. I know some of you that are watching this miss the MIP City party, and I know some of you don't do this kind of stuff. Well, you can thank Alex Neutron for his incompetence at moderating. If Alex Neutron actually add moderation to his game, none of this would have happened. Imagine we live in a perfect world where Alex Neutron actually implement moderation in his game, but sadly, we're not living in that world. Despite the aftermath of the MIP City party, there is one particular group that loves impersonating Alex Neutron and pretending like they were the MIP City. I'm I'm talking about MIP City Ofical, not official, Ofical. They basically don't have any affiliation with MIP City or Alex Neutron. Even Alex Neutron stated that the account is not part of the official. It's basically run by some delusional kids that try to moderate MIP City and give fake updates. But as far as I know, they barely do anything. Even one time I promoted a Discord server saying that you can report them, only to realize it was fake. There's been quite a lot of people that have been reporting the party on Discord and I'm starting to see mitigations of inappropriate avatars on MIP City parties. Well, that was on my part for that mistake. They made a tweet about MIP City pet capsules in October 2022, but as far as I know, it never got implemented into the game. And there's just so much fake stuff in their tweets that my secondhand embarrassment went off chart. They even made a made up statement as if they have Alex Neutron on the team. Like, oh my goodness, I can't, I, it's too much. I really don't want to include them in this video due to their most embarrassing embarrassing delusional post. It might be harsh for me to do it and I don't want you guys to give attention to these kids. You know, just leave them alone. So um, you finally made it to the final of this video and I don't know what to say other than thank you. You have my full honor for watching it till the end. This video really took me more time than I need to due to real life work, my work environment to make content is pretty much shortened. I'm finally back from hiatus, although after an extra 2 months, I was able to get a good rig PC and to be able to increase my productivity and the quality that I've poured into the video. Leaving a like means a lot to me, it also helps with the algorithm. Comment down below what you think of this video or what am I missing, or you know, give out your opinion about your history with Mip City. Anyway, I gotta thank this Patreon who's been supporting me for quite a while. Special thanks to Cookie and Stone for supporting this channel, which if you want to help increase my productivity, feel free to donate at patreon.com slash subscribe. I might think of this go server soon, who knows, maybe thousand subs and I'll consider it. I know there are some recent events that Green Lego Cats made a video about, but please, I'm so tired. I don't want to extend this video more than it needs to. As for Alex Neutron, I think he's pretty much on the run and has changed his identity like Jimmy McGill or Saul Goodman from Better Call Saul. I need a new dust filter for my Hoover Max Extract Pressure Pro Model 60. Can you help me with that? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I got another video to make anyway. Hopefully it isn't long because YouTube is about investment in games. So yeah, have an awesome day and roll the cool outro. Let's not ignore the fact that Coeptus from Bloxburg is actually a developer and also a game moderator at the same time. Let's not forget that. <laughs>